Dude, hurry up. Dude, dude, hurry up, dude. What's up, what is it? I found him, dude, I found him. Found who? What are you talking about? I found him. He, he's back, I found him. Oh my god! It's... It's... Robby Dobby! I'm back, baby, I'm fucking back! <laughs> fucking degenerate. Dude, the zombies is dead. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Nick! Fuck this shit on my own. Fuck this shit on my own. Ow! Fuck this shit on my own. These videos are probably gonna come across like a really strange schizophrenic diary of sorts that have an overarching theme but are very sporadic and don't make a lot of sense unless you watch all the videos and understand the narrative. I was compelled for some reason to do this. One day I woke up and I just was overcome with this feeling that I need to do something immediately or nothing's gonna change. I came to the realization I needed to do something hard. The reason the cathedral is the cross is because transformation can only happen in the place of maximal suffering. I need to challenge myself um, artificially to the maximum extent in order to grow who I am. The whole purpose is to find something so profoundly difficult and to find something that is so profoundly great that it justifies the fact that you're gonna die one day. Your whole ancestry came together for you to succeed them. Think about it, man. Watch, go watch My Hero Academia. He's the ninth, he's the ninth dude with the, the one for all, right? And it's a metaphor. He's the greatest. He's a combination of all of all their traits into one. And then when he dies and passes it on, the next person will have all those traits into one. This is to prove the capability of the human spirit and how powerful you could become and how incredibly profound your experiences could truly be if you put your body and your mind and everything you have into something. But this is also gonna begin, gonna mark the beginning of the absolutely craziest part of this series. But who's to say I haven't already hit 660 by the time this video came out. Enjoy. You get yourself together so that you can get your family together, so you can get your community together, so that you can get the world together. All of that at the same time. Responsibility, which is on you to start that and to bear that and to lift that and to act it out. I think of people as beasts of burden in some sense, like we're, we're built for a burden and we're not happy without that burden and we want to find the one that suits us. That's going to be heavy. I think I'm heavy through. Light weight. That's why it says in the New Testament that we should stack up riches in heaven. It's like there isn't anything better than that. It may be even the sacrifice of your life because you're in this, like this is a mortal game. You're in this with your whole life. You need to find a game to play that's of sufficient grandeur and nobility so that perhaps even the fact that mortality is built into the structure now becomes justifiable, possible. I think you can live your life enough so that it justifies itself despite its limitation. What that means is that the human spirit fundamentally triumphs over death. And so that's, that's optimism, you know, in the midst of the the sorrow and, and, and the malevolence. We have the capacity to transcend that. And there isn't anything more optimistic than that.